Welcome to the 2024 LPL Spring Split Finals between first seed Billy Billy Gaming and second seed Top Esports fighting for the Dragon Cup. No mucking around, let's just jump straight into the recap. Kicking off with First Blood, we have one of the most common points of pressure we've seen across both major Asian regions, the bot lane dive. They've got a pretty big wave here. All right, here we go. First Blood on the table here. BLG trying to execute. They do have the juggle going. Oh, Jackie Love gets out, but no. First Blood goes over to Elk and it is traded right back. And in solo queue fashion, we have an unnecessarily big fight breakout over the Grubbies. That's not the corner I want to walk into. Okay, BLG moving in. 369 going to slice and dice his way out. Don't miss his pop. Tidal wave coming through. I don't think he has a way of getting out of that one. He's healing so much. He gets out with the Devour. There's the invade by Tien, too. He gets the kill of the Shun. They are in the pit. The Grubbies aren't even the focus anymore. He gets one back, and now Tien has hit those resets. He's looking for more. He flashes out of that Q sweet spot. Ben's going to go down, too. That seismic shove is not enough, and BLG, they try to fight, but they can't keep the fight going. After around 10 minutes of stagnation, we see a skirmish breakout in the top lane over nothing, really. Uh, Knight's gonna burn his flash soon, trying to tank it up though. There's a lot of damage from those rocks. 369 gonna go right back in. Here comes Ben. He's able to join the fight here, but is it too little, too late? 369 not able to get the close down on Shun, and he just goes down to Knight. Flexing his Lucian muscle, Elk looks to push his limits to secure mid prior for BLG. The focus of the oh my god, this dude! Oh my god, well, I said that's the combo they wanted to do, and they definitely did it. That's a dash forward from Elk, and not the shot gonna land. Elk is just so deadly, man. Yeah, the fog of war is nasty. Naps the Maokai ult again. All after all. There we combo. go. Tidal wave. Bring all your nature masses, as they will affront top esports under turret. But Mako able to make the difference there. Able to tank down some of that. With only 2,000 gold or so, both teams look to contest Baron Nasha in a very extended fight. Anyway, for the last few minutes. And they've had themselves that option, but here goes Shun. Okay, Shun going in. The Bramble Smash not used yet. Elk getting some damage out, but look, 369's on Elk now. And everybody's found the connection, even with that twisted advance there by Tien. And so they do find the fight. Now they'll move to the Baron. What hero plays have we got left from BLG? And try to get in. Shun is not there for the steal, but a lot of damage can be done. We root wall used already. Throw some of those rocks. Top Esports just going to commit to it right now. Ben is on the other angle here. About 4,000. On the Baron now, we're getting low as it should just go down. Top Esports gonna pull away from it. They do end up securing the objective. Nice seismic shove there. Q sweet spot. Spin trying to fight back, but nice Emperor's Defied from Cream. They do end up fighting one back onto him, but it's Jackie Love who's gonna come up clutch on the other end of it. Ben on the other side though, trying to go with Jackie Love. Ben. Oh my god, Ben! You monster! He doesn't find Jackie Love though, as he does with that Q sweet spot. It's not gonna be enough. Having denied the last soul point, BLG looked to gain prior mid without giving us an absolute masterclass on how to lead fights. The team fight as well. So both of these teams, no mistakes allowed now. One slip up can make the difference between a game one victory and a game one loss. Tian on the other side actually has an angle. Kareem misses the engage again, but Tian, he has the angle here on the other side. He's trying to get it, but he gets damage right back to him. Going golden is Kareem, who went right back into the fight under the sun disc, but he dashes his way out with those shifting sands. Nobody dies yet again. So to break this down, we're going to zoom into the Lucian here. Just watch Elk. Playing his range, he pushes the enemy to clump before casting culling. All the while his ult is going off, he's keeping his eye on the center W on the minion. Just watch this perfect footwork walking around the root radius. Following this, Cream sees an opening looking to flash shuffle the Lucian into the enemy, but Elk is prepared for this and insta flashes it. And as if that reaction time wasn't enough, Tian comes in with the Viego flank, perfectly hitting his W, which again, thanks to Elk's reaction time, is perfectly cleansed. Also keep in mind he doesn't actually know where Viego is until he's basically on top of him because of his harrowed path. Just a really nice display of mechanics overall. Look at his spacing. Are you kidding? Look, he's dashing into his ear. And look at his dodge on the center W. Just look at his where the champion is. He's like space gliding the center W. Dashes onto Azir's head. Azir's like, fuck this, I'm flashing on him. Insta flashes it. Now look at Viego. It's like, okay, maybe I can follow up on that. Insta, insta, insta cleanses the Viego stun. Just look at him. And now he's frying Viego. Like, what is that Lucian doing? He's 1v5ing them. And now you watch the whole thing in real time and you're like, how the fuck? Is he scripting? Like, like his teammates are just cameramen. Now following the play both teams rotate down to contest the soul point from that mid lane fight and get themselves into the front to back position no flanks available just yet all right tian is here there's the weaver's wall to block off the dragon they need to try to burn this before they can get it but tian's right on the other side of the wall the weaver's wall goes down top esports right back to the fight 
Bin is looking on the angle here on the other side, but can't get anything over. Dragon is just gonna be secured by Top Esports. The fight after, though, on oh, gets chunked. And here comes Jackie Love. He flashes forward. Bin can't find the angle on the other side. He does go in. Oh. He gets the flash two. And now BLG can find the fight. Big seismic shove there as well. They're going all the way in. Kring uses the first to buy, but they can't get shun. Nature's Grass coming back, but look at Tien the whole time. Reset City was approached. After BLG take a pretty uncontested Baron, they lead a siege bot lane in preparation for Eldar. But leads to a bit more. The side lane, they aren't going to go for it just yet. But again, we got to watch the combos. The tidal wave, the nature's grass, plus the weaver's wall. See particularly that Mark Elk. Oh my just... god, Elk is just stepping up into all four members of top esports and being rewarded for it. Tidal wave on top of it, nature's grass, everything. And Mako's already gone. Kareem going to join him soon. He can't get the new sweet spot, though. But that is a huge siege on bot side inner turret. How do you defend a siege against these ultimates? Well, the answer is you don't, apparently, for top esports. It's going to be multiple synced waves heading into the base at once. The Baron no block is way. massively turning the screws into top esports base. Top esports came in with a different strategy. They got that undefeated center for Jackie Love. They wanted to take the scaling. Now they got to fight their way out of this one. 369. He's on the back line here. He does have a little bit of damage to be done, but the rest of BLG pulling away very nicely. Next on the menu is the Elder Dragon, the most important objective of the game. With only 2,000 gold in the balance, the game is definitely still anyone's to take. Side of the map, despite the fact they got the kill on the jungler, it's back to the Elder we go potentially. And Shun's gonna be up soon if they can delay the fight. 369 getting caught inside. They have rest in top esports. BLG, you have to commit to this and get out or you are done for as they are getting completely collapsed on. Elk is the one they try to engage on. He puts damage right back into Mako as Bin has now found the flank angle yet again. Can't find that Q sweet spot in the end. BLG will back away, but they bought enough time for Shun to come out towards this Elder. Oh my gosh, the mind games and the vision control, the player on teleports is all making sure this fight towards the bot side is so slow. Elder start it again. Have Shun coming up the side. All right, we got five on five, a decider for this game number one. Elder does reset, 369 trying to get on the other angle here. Tien was looking for a potential flank, but realizes he needs to be in the pit. Bin doesn't have World Ender, but he has a flank position. What can he find? He's spotted out by Mako. It's not going to be shut down just yet. Wave slowly pushing its top esports, and the Elder's going down. They have to be really careful. There's the Nature's Grasp. Are they going to use the Tidal Wave Express? Oh my god, they got Mako. BALG, they're moving forward. 369 has found Elk, though. And maybe they get the damage there as now. Oh, it burst the Not going to hit anybody there. Elder is getting low. 369 on the other side, but he can't keep it going. And Bin has made the difference. Tien, is he going to do it? No, he gets shut down by Elk with a couple double taps. Jackie Love getting chased down by the wings of the World Ender as Ben comes up clutch. BLG come up clutch and they'll look for a game one victory. This was a boxing match for a game one. It was not one sided whatsoever. Now, just before we jump into game two, I'm going to be doing these exact recaps for MSI, which is in a week and a half. Uh, so make sure you subscribe if you aren't already. And if you want to catch the LCK finals, which I did the other day, I'll also leave the link to that in the description. Thank you in advance. I really appreciate it. With BLG taking the first game of the series under the guidance of Elk's Lucian dealing over 76,000 damage, we move on to game two. As BLG press tops jungle, a red smite battle turns into first blood. And see that they're taking the red buff. They're going to push them out so Tien can't get the smite steal. Oh, double knockup from on. That's huge. And now Tien, he has to go over the wall. The first blood to Shun and TS are left tattered. At 520, we see Elk move to Grubs to support Jun, but Tian reads the play and we get to see some really nice escape mechanics. As well. Once you have a couple of levels on your support with the with the Sano, see <laughs> he does it. He does have Does he flash. just give his life for him? Vault Breaker? Okay, he's just gonna flash over. So this looked pretty simple, and I guess it was, but there were some cool mind games here. After the Grub is taken and the chase of Tian begins, Jun deploys his W clone to try and block Tian. Even though Jun is stealthed, which of course Tian can't see, he still thinks a step ahead, knowing what he's trying to do and uses his flash immediately. A lesser player probably would have just Vyq'd straight into the Wukong and risked dying or ruining his flash. Pretty smart play from both sides here. So because Elk showed at Grubs, the TES bot lane know they have a window to get a lead bot lane, which Jackie Love and Mako definitely take advantage of. Recap all of what's happening here. We're starting to get plates going down to the bot side and some hook. That could be a kill. That is, it looks like it. They're gonna try to carry back on a Mako. Nice double knock up, Jackie Love! He takes the extra tower shot but they do get the kill, evening it up one to one. Again, knowing that BLG is on grubs, top esports look to capitalize on a lonely on. A gold from this, and there's a dive, so there's no oh, other help. Oh yeah, on is just gonna walk out to his death. Tian gonna take that one easy, easy. 
And again, they put Ons Orn through the ringer, but to this, BLG decides it's time to trade sides. Oh, not again. He will be spotted out there. He's going to try to use the unstoppable, but he is locked down from the hell there. There's the Orn Horn. He's going to flash out, not use it. Does end up getting out with his dash. Huge stuff. He still ends up losing his flash oh. in his ult. Can 369 lift? He doesn't have Dominus. Anything you can do, we can do better. BLG execute the juggle and take even more on top size. As we start to enter the mid game, Cream takes a dangerous path through the jungle, opening the map for BLG. Shun is a little bit in between trouble, but uh, does he have Viney with the help? Uh, 369 rather. Cream Ooh. flashes, gets the fear off. Donnie's shadow, it should get the kill. Oh my goodness. The dominoes are starting to fall for top esports. This I mean, next play, I don't even know. Just watch it and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Um, see Tian. What's he? Ah, uh, Tian. Uh, he's all by himself. He does have the rest of the team coming. Okay, so Bin is going to tuck TP into the fight here at least. And so is uh, Knight. They already take out Tian though. He went so ham and went way too far. Jackie Love, he gets flashed off by Bin and he has to flash his way out. Top Esports are left again in the dirt. Seemingly with the game slipping through their fingers, TES need to stem BLG's collection of dragons. But it's costly. Play the fight out better though. Cream has to have a good angle. Tian waiting on the side in the tri bush. Dragon is started up by BLG and already about a quarter health down. 269 is going to move in. He's not looking for a flank. They're looking for a front to back here. Knight was trying to find an angle. He does have Emperor's Divide available. And shifting sands his way over the wall. Dragon getting so low. Here comes the Ornhorn, and the dragon was secured by 369. They actually find a big engage right back onto him, and Emperor's Divide comes out from Knight, and now it's just like fish in a barrel, and you just gotta aim down those shotgun iron sights and take them out one by little one. BLG move their knight into flanking position and put Top Esports in. Check. Cream, is he going to survive? No way. No, he is not just quite. I think he's going to get chased down here. He's got here. the speed. Okay. okay. Oh, Shun's going the long con here. <laughs> As he is all alone. Under Tower is going to try to get the back off, but Shun is there. The fear coming out, though, and the rest of the team is there to knock him down. With BLG taking a very early Baron, TES contest in a last-ditch effort to salvage the game. Back to back record-breaking splits for BLG. Second finals for the organization now. Here comes the re-engage from the Ornhorn. Baron getting a little low. Can Tian get in the pit? He does not. It is secured by Elk of all people. And a mad Elk has just come to play. They get the Dawning Shadow across the Emperor's Divide. TS are stuck at the wall and they can't do anything about it. Ben has found the angles and TS are left with nothing. BLG reset and immediately look to pressure on the top base with their brand new Baron Bar. Finally gets out from under there as Bin with that TP makes the difference. They do end up getting it with Elk's range. Oh my god, they're just between the turrets here, Nymera. This is unfair. There is no safe place for top esports. They continually dove and BLG are showing no mercy. Teleport onto the minion. Keep teleporting, keep going. That carousel does not stop turning and the death keeps coming one by one. Elk finds another one and the inhib turret now in the eyes of BLG. BLG, they rear their beastly head and they'll move up to match point. With the Dragon Cup starting to slip away from top esports, we load into game three and Jackie Love smells blood, locking in his very aggressive Draven. In a very solo queue-esque play, Tian attempts to split the map for his bot lane, but BLG recognize something is afoot. Um, Respectfully, Tian gets a buff steal away. So they are going to go for the invade here. I want to talk a little bit of how these uh, skirmishes can lead out to victories. Oh, it's Shun that gets it, I believe. No, it actually is Tian. They're going to get the flash from on. They're moving out and they're moving in. That's Shun with first blood for BLG. A hungry Jackie Love and Mako faint a recall before taking the fight to on. So let's talk a little bit about the way that they can approach this one. Jackie Love and Mako trying to get the kill on bot side. Can he cash in? One more, and there he goes. He gets the cash in there, but Elk wants to chase him down. Gets one right back for him. And now it's Supportal Combat versus an actual ADC. Both of them will back away. Looking to accelerate their drive in the top esports bot lane isn't letting this series go yet. He'll get it if he wants to at that same point, but may as well take those extra. Ooh, the slowdown. On. The slowdown's so big. On can't get away from this one. In one auto, Jackie Love comes up big. Recognizing his bot lane is bleeding, Jun heads bot to stabilize. And Jackie Love, he's going to use the Whirling Death to try to get the wave there. There's a cease and desist onto Jackie Love. They know who they need, and they get him with a piercing arrow straight through the heart. And even though no the way. 2v2's no won, way. they're going to get him. The fates call in. One more auto. It's another piercing arrow, and BLG come away aces on bot side. In an answer to the bot lane play, Tian looks to bring 369 into the game top lane. Names. 
And we'll get back to that conversation. The end's trying to get on a top side gank. Ben's just going to burn his flash there. Does get the shattering strike there on the back end. Magnus Storm 2. The knock up there from 369. Is he going to be able to make it out? He does still have his health bar. The overheat's coming up. They want to dive for this one, but he's trying to get around. They go under turret, and the juggle is complete. Top Esports with a little bit of an act of their own. With the second dragon of the game falling to TES, both teams just decide to full fun it. Just because. She wrote about the end gate, but now we have Dragon up and ready to go. I think with that easy cholesterol kind of being pulled out, and then also the Varus. I think BLG maybe give up this Dragon now. See if Shun has anything to say to it, though. There is a Vi ultimate. He's had the better of Tien so far, at least, and other members have had the better of the objectives. He's in there. No, he's not going to get it. He's not going to use that Ball Breaker for it. Elk and on. In a little bit of trouble. Magnusorp. Oh, they found the Cease and Assist. That's the Sky's Descent as well. Jackie Love still alive. Going to pop that Whirling Death. And now it's Shun who has the Flash. There's the Equalizer in. Ben on the wrong side of the fight, but maybe they will turn back around. Here comes that Breath of Light. And the Breath is cooking top eSports. It's about to be a full-on ace. Oh, my goodness. It is Bin and the rest of BLG that make the difference. Again, in another just random fight over nothing, we have one of the weirdest fights in the whole series where just no one wants to die. I mean, support is good. It means that you take away some wards, but it's not necessarily the game-changing play that you want. 369 caught out just a little bit. Oh, committed. they're bringing over Elk as well. Equalizer from Bin across the top. He gets denied. He's going to have to burn the flash out there. Jackie Love on the other side gets chains of corruption, and the engage is coming through. Look at Bin. He's going to flash with the flame spinner. Jackie Love got to get out of there, bud. 369 is all by himself. One hail of arrows doesn't do it. Nobody's going to go down as BLG. Bin takes an extra tower shot. He goes down now as well. Now Tien back from the grave and back ready to fight for top esports. Shun gonna go down too with a chash in of Jackie Love. So after on-chain ints a few times, which wasn't really worth showing, TES take their second dragon of the game and look to control Baron with their best shot at a win so far in the series. Seen this before, Sky's Descent available. BLG moving in to pressure top esports under the Baron's ire. He's in the pit here now. Tien needs to make it happen. He's a world champion oh, the for a reason. They're going to go for the engage. They got Knight, and the Sky's Descent will come down in the end. Shun's in the pit, but it's way too early. He's going to go in onto Jackie Love. They actually take down Tien, and now they get the double knockback there. Shun can't get any more damage down, though. And that's a TP, 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 TP. They're going to move out this time, as that's a big flame spitter waiting to come down. He's getting immediately chunked, and maybe we take back his pass to being able to TP into 1v5. On has that Fates call used. Oh, Jackie! Jackie Love dies to the Baron! No! He misses the piercing arrow there as now they're moving forward. They get the Void Rush and there it is! 369, baby! Rolling all nines! With a bit of stagnation in the mid game, it takes us to our second Baron of the game, but this next play is everything but stagnant. The heads into this Baron say, Are you starting it? Do we have to contest? Are they looking for a fight? They are looking for a fight. They're going to cease to desist right over on a 369. He's tanky, but he ain't that tanky. There's the engage from Tien. A flash out from Elk. The equalizer coming in from Bin. The Breath of Light trying to dissuade any more engage. Mako's almost dead, but On's getting chased down now by Jackie Love. He's going to try to use his leaps, but there's the flash. There's Oh, he auto attacked the ward. Okay, he finally gets the cash in there. Stop Esports will take down one of the damage dealers, BLG. Sick. The well is there for a reason. You're always going to pull up water unless you're in a drought. Now, if they see if Top Esports is in drought or in full spring water they are 5,000 away from burning down this one it looks like we might flip it soon not gonna go in the pit just yet not gonna be denied oh he does get denied cream the man with the difference has that engage has that denial for blg and now it's top esports moving in like the predators to the prey the void rush comes out for 369 and gets him and now on the back line he is but he's all by himself the breath of light comes up clutch for night night able to make the difference that blg somehow some way they're looking to take down top esports after the fight went their way. Equalizer's coming up in a few seconds. No They're gonna way. try and snipe another kill. Sundisk coming out. He's not gonna get cream. He went for Jackie Love there anyways. Oh, flash forward on. He wants it. He wants to make the difference. And he does. That's so big. Five members from Top Esports are dead. With BLG making some headway back into the game through their proactivity, TES aren't about to let their lead go so easily and contest for soul point. It's a soul for Top Esports. 
BLG need to deny it. Tien on the other side of the wall, gonna take the hex gate, gonna go for the engage. He actually finds it. He has the magnet storm on tonight. Sky's the stand is available, but he's locked down so heavily. Is he gonna get the pull the trigger on? He's gonna use it to try to save his life, but he can't. That's a lot of damage back. Look at on. They are caught though. As top esports, they're getting the fight turned right back on him. We've seen this before, Nymera, as it's BLG who will not give up the fight so easily. On has that bait call pulled, not gonna pull Elk into it, but it's back to the dragon we go. Oh gosh, you cannot take your eyes off of any member on the back of it. These fights are not front to back, they're all over the place. Dragon's been started up, Top Esports, they're walking in blind. They have the Ren from On, they have the potential. Tian needs to make it happen. He's a world champion for a damn reason. He gets killed, he gets denied, and Top Esports, they are completely dusted. Here comes Cream. he misses the engage, but it actually gets On. Doesn't matter though, Enchanted Chris Oero goes wide. Jackie Love trying to get the damage down now as well, but Flame Spitter, he tries to get the blast from Shun. That's a nice response from Jackie Love. The mechanic's coming out clutch. Following TES taking an uncontested Baron, their attention turns to the Hex Exile. Guess that chain oh, it's going is, over. It is going over <laughs> so quickly, though. It's Soul, Baron in the last few minutes. Top Esports are playing the objective game, and BLG are not getting clean fights. They can't get the damage down. It's going to be a couple ultis down. Enchanted Crystal Arrow is still very far from going in. Now Shun is in there, but he gets his GA pop. Equalizer on top. The skies have descended, but can it change for BLG? It looks like Top Esports are fighting tooth and nail. They get on Spate Call. Meanwhile, Ben's forced out of the fight, and they're flashing forward onto the bot lane of BLG. They'll find everybody except for Bin, and they'll shove it right up the gut. Three world champions of the experience across the board. We got a series on our hands. With Top Esports breathing life into their series, we take to the rift with a very engage heavy TES versus a very heavy range BLG. After a slow start, it seems that Tian's focus is slipping in this game four. No, so Tian's just uses smite onto the blue buff, so he can't smite away the gromp, and that's an all coming in from awesome. They're gonna flash. They know he has nothing left, and they want to mark so badly for Shun. He's gonna flash. He's gonna get it, and that's the first one and first blood for BLG. Oh no, Jackie Love gonna flash. He does get the piercing arrow to the back, but BLG strike first on bot lane. It does, and now if you get the Gromp here as well, I'm pretty sure that Shun is just about to get his four marks. They're gonna use gonna the Nico clone to kill no the back. Oh, the piercing arrow doesn't hit, but the hail of arrows does, and Elk gets one. As is a common trend this series, TES respond to their first two kills with their own. Showers this time for Mako to throw at them, which is a big thing. Actually, Mako's <laughs> huge at that point. So that's a flash away from Knight, here comes on. Oh no, he's completely locked down. Now the Fates Call coming in as well from Jackie Love. They have the Lands Respite there, buying so much sustained time, though Knight will end up falling to Cream. Jackie Love has stepped forward now. On and Shun there to back them off. It is a kill given over though. It is a Knight that uh, flashes out of a short range combo. It does get that Lands Respite, but it's not enough to give him Complete ability to turn that play around on Aldom's the map. Here comes oh, Nico. That tangle barb was massive, but he still goes down in the end, and it's of course Jackie Love who picks up the kill. Looking to make a play, lying in wait. Three six nine has the tables turned by BLG. Goes up. Elk. Oh, 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 oh. Elk. <laughs> That's a big boy right there, Elk. You got to be careful. He does have his friends, and you know, friends are more powerful than a solo member. They do have the double marksman up here, and 369. He's gonna be rolling some threes here, and he gives over a killed elk. I don't really know why this next fight was so close. Just watch it and you'll see what I mean. Started. Bin on the side, he will not be spotted. He has a full on flank. Cream has his. Weaver's wall coming across to deny. They will be blocking them up. They don't have the damage to take the dragon. Yet. Early on that, they get the virus all through. The the crystal. No, no, it's the, cha the chains of corruption. Pop bots them on the four members! Oh my goodness, BLG take the dragon here now. No, they want the fight. That's the Emperor's Vibe going a bit wide from Knight. Look at Bin though, he has bought enough time for the dragon to go down. And BLG, like they've done all series, will pull off of the fight. Oh, the Varasol from Elk was absolutely phenomenal. Catches out the jungler unawares. And Cien goes down. As both teams look for mid prior in preemption for Baron, we see a bit of an overforce for a kill. The hit Varus, uh, not the Varus, the on hit. Uh, I mean, technically that could go. This is the temple. Here comes oh, Elk. Shield they're under turret here. There's the body slam, and they're gonna take down Elk. The double TP in for BLG. The pop blossom on three members now, though. And what fight did you get? What did it cost you? And as Thanos says, 
everything as BLG will be rebuffed by the cask of 369. Bin has made the difference. Looking to rush their second dragon, TES have to make a play to keep themselves in this game. 1,000 health here. Top Esports going to use the Weaver's Wall. Block off Shun is in the back of the pit, though, and Shun will take those all day. No, Tian gets the difference as now he will be burned down, though. He gets a flash out of Bin. Bin's on top of Tian. The cast comes through, but they wanted him the whole time. Cream was left out by his lonesome. And that's going to be the cleanse immediately bought by Jackie Love and trying to get out of that chains of corruption. Oh, now they're on the wrong side of the map. Shun walks forward. Top Beast Oh, walks. my God. They're so far from home, and I think they're getting sent back in caskets. My goodness. BLG are chasing down Jackie Love. And they're they're going to even pop the Pop Blossom, because why not? As they will take Top Esports to task here. Shun's looking on the other side to try and chase down the big man. He might just be able to. You can maybe just teleport back to base. I think if he teleports out, though, the problem is that you lose Baron after this on. Oh, Does he stop he it? Missed no, he missed it. it. He missed the tangle barb. With both teams headed for Baron, we see Knight put in his best Faker cosplay. Like you just want to take a front-to-back fight and take that ADC. And... Oh, Chains of Corruption goes wide. Double oh. Pop Blossom there, and they get him. That's a complete wipe. Top Esports have nothing left in the fight, and it's 369 that tries to make the difference with the cast, but it can't. And now on the other side, it's double kill for Shun, and it's BLG running away with it. It's the solo laners. It's the knight in shining armor that makes the killing blow. A team effort for BLG to turn the series. And just like that, BLG take the 2024 LPL Spring Split Cup over TES, heading into MSI as one of the favorites. Favorites. As I said earlier in the video, I'll be covering those games too, so make sure to subscribe to not miss anything. Thanks for watching. Bye!